Create your website and make it look good. In this tutorial, we discuss best practices for creating your website and making it look good. First, ask yourself why. What do you hope to accomplish with a website and how will you use it to grow your business? Decide which goal is the primary focus of your new website and keep that goal in mind as you put the site together. If you want visitors to call, make the phone number prominent. If you want visitors to find your store, provide a map and directions. If you want to sell online, make the shopping experience simple and fast. Whatever you want to accomplish, make it easy for website visitors to take action. Your website provides an opportunity to inspire trust and present compelling reasons to choose your business instead of competitors. To do this, you need a professional website. Google's Get Your Business Online program makes it easy for small businesses to do that for free. Here's what you get. An easy to build website from Intuit, a free domain name, and web hosting for one year. Let's review four areas to consider when creating your website. Number one, your web address, the domain name. A memorable web address, known as a domain name, makes it easy for customers to find your business online. The best option for your web address is simply to use the name of your business. For example, the web address for Julie's Clothing Boutique could be www.juliesclothingboutique.com. If your business name is not available, come up with a few alternatives using keywords to search for businesses like yours, such as adding your location or other characteristics that will help you stand out. For Julie's Clothing Boutique, you might instead use www.brooklynjuliesclothing.com or www.juliesbestfashions.com or www.juliesstylishclothing.com. Your website address should also be short and sweet, no more than three words, so it's easy for customers to type and remember. Number two, the design. The look and feel of your website affects choices potential customers make. What theme, what tone do you want your site to convey? This will help you with the design and text. Intuit offers hundreds of templates in more than 40 categories. You can modify any template to suit your business. Here are a few best practices to keep in mind. Keep navigation consistent throughout the website. This is automatic with an Intuit site. Use attractive, high quality photos. Number three, the content. Most business websites include a home page, which gives an overview of your business, a product or services page with photos and detailed descriptions, an about us page with information about your company, and contact information with an address, phone and fax numbers, email addresses, etc. Before you start creating these pages, it's helpful to gather up the components that will go into them. You may want to include your company name and logo, photos of your storefront, your team, customers using your products and services, descriptions of those products and services, and if appropriate, photos of them too, a portfolio of your past work, a strong call to action such as call us, add to cart, or make an appointment. If you're selling products directly online, you want customers to know exactly where and how to make that purchase. Customers read websites differently than text in print. On the web, they are more likely to scan for information and jump around the page rather than absorbing each word from top to bottom. You can help customers digest your website content more easily by writing descriptive page titles, writing concise sentences and short paragraphs, using bulleted lists that can be scanned easily, using direct calls to action like sign up now or book a massage. Always keep your customers in mind. Your website is for them first and foremost, so don't lose sight of their needs in your quest to achieve your own business goals. Number four, last but not least, keep your website up to date. As your business changes and grows, so should your website. If you offer a new service or have been making improvements to your business, write about it. The words you choose help search engines like Google understand your business better and increases your chances of connecting with potential customers. Let's wrap up with your action items. If you do not have a website, visit www.americagetonline.com and select your state to get started with a free Intuit website. You can create and publish a site in about an hour. If you have a website, review the design and content. 
If the site looks unprofessional, it's difficult to navigate, or the text is out of date, it's time to make improvements. Once your site is ready for prime time, the next challenge is helping people find it. Download the worksheet that accompanies this video to help put these ideas into action. Thanks for listening.